welcome to my channel this is Michelle grateful creations I am going to try and do a wood round tonight I don't really do wood rounds very often I have my spinner um, these are the colors I'm going to be using uh, Matisse Australian red violet Matisse Southern Ocean blue this is TLP in watermelon TLP in blue eyes Am I going to put blue eyes in? No, I'm not. TLP in or TLP in velvet. I don't know if I'm going to put blue eyes in or not. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, so I have kind of cheated tonight. I don't know if this is a cheat or not, but um, I've covered the back with um, press and seal so I don't have to tape it all off and we'll see how that works. I've also got press and seal on here and a little tape thing. We'll see how it works. I did prime this with Pebio Bindex. And I'll show you that bottle. Oh, I don't know if that's straight. When has anything been straight <laughs> on my channel? <laughs> right and I have um, a black cell activator that is oxide black by Amsterdam with um, Australian Floetrol this is the Pebio Bindex that's what I um, went ahead and primed that with I think this is bare um, it might even be satin enamels I'm not sure been sitting around for a while. I had to um, thin it out a bit with some Floetrol. I'm just going to put it down, hope for the best. Looks really thick. Okay, let me spin that out a bit. There we go. And I am going to what am I going to do? I'm going to load up. You know what? I don't usually like to um, torch house paint. But... <laughs> Too many bottles. Okay. I'm going to load up my spatula here, or my, um, my tool. With I'm going to start with the black cell activator because that's we want that to come out last. I'm going to put a decent amount on. Now, hopefully I can remember. I did a test tile. <laughs> it turned out pretty nice. Now, can can I, do you think I could remember what I put down? Okay, I'm going to do ore first. Then, the Matisse Australian Red Violet. That's a really pretty color. A little bit of pricey, I gotta say. There's the watermelon, which I absolutely love. Then I'm going to put the velvet down. And the Southern Ocean Blue. And hopefully you get something really cool out of it. See a bubble right there. Oops. All right. Here we go. Swipey. I like it. I might do it again. I'm going to be taking all of this off. Well, unless I tilt it. This seems kind of like a blunt. I need to do something else with that. So I'm gonna do the same colors, same thing all over again. Same order. I love that cup, those colors, my goodness. 
So we go go up first. Australian red violet. I want more of the ocean, so I'm gonna put the ocean in twice. Now that it's not even in the same order anymore. <laughs> totally different order. Hopefully that won't mess things up too much. Wow, it's a lot of paint. this time. Ah, caca. I'll figure something out. <laughs> I will figure something out. Put some down here. Spin that off. should show you guys the tile I did. Maybe I shouldn't have loaded up the, um, I think I just swiped it last time on that tile. All right. Here goes nothing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you the tile because, just because. Ta-da! That turned out beautiful. Okay, that's <clears throat> So this is totally different. Let me, <clears throat> I think I'm going to tilt it first. I know what I'm going to do. Let me grab a toothpick and get some of these bubbles out. In it and <clears throat> see what happens. Oh. And all of the good paint is leaving us. All right, I'm tilting this this way now. I want to get this off. Ooh, it's pretty. spin it again. There we go. Centered, sort of, kind of. Beauteous. A little bit more. I like the negative space. Beautiful. All right. Let me play now. 
time to play. Darn it. This piece less might be more. Wow, am I ever quiet. Still see a few little white freckles, <clears throat> measles, whatever you want to call them. You can always get them with a toothpick or chopstick or just kind of pierce them. I really like this. I'm going to do too much more to it. I pull it down a little bit more. All right, it's getting wonky. I gotta bring it back now. Um, Should have left it alone. Okay. All right, guys, that's it. My first 12 inch round Shelly art piece. I like it. I'm going to turn out the lights and let you guys see this up close and personal. I might do one more line in here. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know.
No. No. Mm -hmm. Less is more. I'm not liking this line is all crooked now. I don't know if there's a way of fixing it. Better. All right. They're in there out. And call it done. I don't think I'm done though. I think I want to <clears throat> play some more. That Mat oh, those Matisse colors are new to me, so I might try them in a in a Dutch pour. My head's probably in the way. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> wow. Kind of compressed. It's the colors. The colors are just killer. I'm glad I got some of this white stuff off. I almost wish I had more of it off, but it kind of adds a little bit to it. So this is it, guys. And I really like that red-violet with the... Um, Southern Ocean Blue. There's a lot of it right here. And it is beautiful. That was a bubble. There's another bubble. All right. I think I got them all. You think you get them all, and then a couple more pop up. a disaster if you get them because you can fix them. It's just tedious. <laughs> Best to mix your paints the night before. All right. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take you guys down. Yeah, I don't think I should have. Nope. It's perfectly fine the way it is. Um, not going to go into what I don't like about it because it's on the negative and I am very positive these days so all right guys I'll be back in a moment okay oh there we go I got you now so this is pretty the colors and the shimmer that looks like an opal right there. I'm in love with watermelon. It's that and or kind of crazy about. That shimmer. It's sparkle. And the velvet helps too. <clears throat> it gives it like that violet hue. Goodness. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, if you'd like to see something you like and you would like to um, make it your own, you can contact me at gcfluidart at gmail.com. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.